My 16-year-old daughter, Nicolette, is extravagant, spoiled, and bratty. Nicolette is beyond entitled. I have these two Chanel wallets. This one's my favorite because it really goes with this purse. I have raised a true Beverly Hills brat. I could definitely say we're quite affluent. My mom raised me with everything I've ever wanted, and she needs to continue. It's the only life I've ever known. Nicolette has always had the best of anything and everything. I went to amazing schools. I had a driver, I had a nanny, personal trainers. At a very young age, Nicolette had her own credit cards with absolutely no credit limit. Some months her credit card bills would be 10,000. I just paid the bill. Nicolette had an allowance of $5,000 a month to cover her expenses. I love designer clothes and shopping on Rodeo Drive just because it's so fun. I have some $5,000 Chanel bags, a couple of those. This is my favorite bag. It's a Celine micro luggage tote. I keep it on a chair because it's just so special. It's about $3,000 and I literally think of it as my own child. I have a Gucci bag right here. It's about $3,000. In the past year, I probably have given her about $100,000. I don't even keep track anymore. These are my favorite pair of heels. They're Valentine's. I love them so much. I really like this piece. It's Louis Vuitton. I know I'm a spoiled brat, but I enjoy the lifestyle, you know? People are gonna hate on me, but they wish they were me. I realized I had to start cutting back because this is really out of control. That went over just like a ton of bricks. Now my spending allowance per month is $1,000. I feel like a peasant. I can't live like this anymore. I'm always out of money. If you ask me, I think my mom should be giving me at least $2,500 a month just to cover my basic expenses. I need money to buy clothes. I need money to buy shoes. My mom just doesn't get it. She'll blow through $1,000 a week and then tell me that she's broke and she needs more money. When my mom refuses to give me money, I make her life a living hell. I have my ways. My daughter totally guilt trips me. I just don't want to deal with the drama, so I just give in and give my bratty daughter everything she wants. My mom refers to me as a Beverly Hills brat. It's true, I'm a brat and I'm not gonna change. Well, good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, your daughter wrote in. Yes, I know. And then she told you, right? She did, What'd yes. you think about that? I thought it was a great idea because I think I need to help Dr. Phil. I just can't control Nicolette any longer. You spoiled her, you agree, right? Oh yes, I definitely uh, agree. You, you had a big catered 13th birthday party. You buy her designer clothing, right? Yes. Uh, we're talking handbags and shoes, and we're not talking about kid handbags and shoes. We're talking about five, $6,000 purses, yes. right? Yes, oh yes. $1,000 pair of shoes, five-star yes. vacations, hotels and restaurants. Multiple credit cards. Multiple, yes. She doesn't even know what the limits are. She just spends until they melt, I guess. Uh, gym they membership with a trainer. <laughs> yes. Gym membership with personal trainer, $100 an hour. High-end salons, right? Yes. Unlimited ride-sharing, organic food delivery. Now, her previous allowance was $5,000 yes. a month. Then you cut it to $2,500. Now you've got it down to 1000 and she's just going ballistic, right? Oh, yes, and that's why she wrote in. She just can't deal with it. Because she feels like she's abused. Yes. Why? why? Why are you doing this? I felt guilty, and I about still what? feel guilty about being a single mom, working six days a week, not being at home with her. It's the guilt.